Um, hi, um, I'm here to talk about what institutional funding changes are going to take place um, within Vision 2020 and the Oxfam Confederation. So the first thing um, that is going to change as we move forward in 2020 is the account management system for donor relationships. Oxfam is now going to have three separate uh, account management systems. The first one is the home donor account management system, where um, all home donor affiliates will be responsible for managing the relationship with their bank donors or their home donors. What does this mean? This means that um, all funding applications, funding proposals going to home donor affiliate um, back donors uh, will be submitted by the home donor lead. There will be home donor account managers in each of the affiliates sitting in various locations. The second type of account management is a shared home donor account management, which is specifically for the EU and ECHO. Um, why I say it's a shared home donor account management is because they have, within the Confederation, there are five um, European affiliates, all of whom share the EU and ECHO as their home donors. The third um, type of donor account management we will have within the Confederation is the non-home donor account management. Who are non-home donors? Non-home donors are donors that do not belong to any Oxfam affiliate. For instance, the Swedish Development Agency, the Nordics, the UN, and other development banks. There will be um, Oxfam International home donor, non-home donor account managers to basically facilitate access to funding opportunities for country programs. The next key um, institutional funding change is that there will be a newly established team in the OI Secretariat to coordinate um, affiliates and relationships across the Confederation. So within HECA and within the Oxfam International Regional Platform, we will have an Oxfam International Regional Business Development Manager whose role will be to coordinate with affiliates in terms of being able to access um, institutional funding donors and specifically non-home donors building relationship with them at the regional level. The third um, key institutional funding change will be that there will be new rules on indirect cost recovery. Um, and this will basically be to incentivize um, affiliates to raise funding for um, specific country programs. What do these new rules say? Um, if you are an affiliate who is submitting a funding proposal to your home donor, you will retain the full indirect cost recovery for that specific application. Um, and therefore, um, it will incentivize you as a home affiliate to continue raising additional funding to get this ICR. The final change, um, well it's not really a change, but um, more of a confirmation, um, which is that these new institutional funding rules and guidelines will help empower the program line to take decisions on funding at a country level. So what does that mean in practice? In practice, it means that now a country director can actually decide which affiliate um, it would like to partner with on any institutional funding opportunity, um, giving him or her the power or the empowerment to choose um, what sort of donor portfolio it would like to fund its particular country program. So what's not changing? Um, what's not changing is that the contracts that um, will be signed at the country level will still go through the different Oxfam affiliates. And the funding will continue 
to flow through the Oxfam affiliates and not through Oxfam International as a legal entity. What are some of the benefits of that? Um, more income, more partnerships for programs, reduced duplication and better coordination amongst the affiliates when it comes to institutional funding opportunities, and a greater global balance. Thank you.